There's a lot to talk about today. Hi, I'm meteorologist Dave Humpty. Live look at Morro Bay from 805 webcam. Some cumulus out there still and still a few showers. There are some folks reporting some brief heavy downpours still. It's broadly though more of an off day than an on day. And you can see the leading edge of all this moisture getting ready to move in here. This is warm subtropical moisture. Up here, this is cold, unstable air. So the two are basically going to meet. We do have an area of low pressure that's going to track in essentially from the south, and that's going to keep all of this moisture focused on the central and south coast and southern California for potentially days here with this atmospheric river coming in. So significant flooding concerns. Absolutely true. A lot to tell you about with that. Moderate risk here of flooding. This is a 40% or greater opportunity to see some flooding in the area already identified by the Weather Prediction Center and heavy snows in the Sierra as well. Winds will be a major factor. We're looking at winds 35 to 45 gusting to 65. Now this is all going to start Saturday evening and lasting all the way into Sunday evening along with the heavy rain. Imagine the stress on trees and unsecured objects going to be blowing around as well. Flood watch, not just locally. Look how much of California is covered in a flood watch for this event, including the Central Coast through the event into Monday. And again, we're not done with the rainfall and the instability left behind from the first system. So a few showers moving through the area, one passing through the Paso Robles area, a little bit more activity along the Cuesta grade here just a bit ago. Not much going on around Santa Maria and looking at the South Coast fairly quiet at the moment. And again, here's our system right in here. This big red streak, that's the jet stream, and it's going to drive this system into California, and then it's going to run basically south to north across the area, keeping the focus of moisture and rainfall and heavier rainfall rates right on top of us. So this is a look at our three kilometer modeling. Again, there's an imperfect quiet happening now that does continue. We could see a few showers here and there, but really not much happens until we get into Saturday afternoon. Then the rain begins. It's Saturday evening and all the way through Sunday. It's going to be rain, isolated thunderstorms, but really more so these heavy downpours that are just going to last for hours on end. So for the central coast, essentially it's a two to five inch potential. For the south coast, it's three to seven. In the hills, you see a couple areas of white here. That's a foot of potential rainfall from the Weather Prediction Center. And here is the atmospheric river. What's interesting about this setup here, it is going to run south to north right against perpendicular to the Santa Inez Mountains, one of our concerns. So right now we have northwest swell and surf advisories for northwest swell, but the winds are going to be so strong out of the south, we're going to see 14 to 18 footers peaking to 20 for the central coast into Monday, and also that south swell of 8 to 12 feet for the south coast and that's going to run right into the south coast and again i have to tell you that the winds are going to be a major factor here look at the winds getting into sunday morning this is our computer model saying 46 to 52 miles per hour meaning the gusts could easily hit 60 miles per hour that usually causes some power outages and by the way southern california is going to absolutely get drilled by this thing extended forecast has temperatures right in the 50s for the run and the other thing i want you to notice is yeah this is a later saturday Sunday, Monday system, but lingering opportunities keep keep most of next week wet, not as wet as we're going to be for the Sunday time frame, but any kind of flooding issues usually just get exasperated by continuing additional rainfall. We talk about that and a whole lot more in our coverage at KSBY.com.